Brilliant, perfect. After getting smashed to fuck by ogres, get the most brutal matchup that this team has ever had. Great, with 11 players. Get a claw mighty blow piling on, dwarf. Mighty blow bull centaur, mighty blow bull centaur, mighty blow minotaur, block mighty blow minotaur, mighty blow claw chorf, mighty blow guy. Yeah. Great. Great. Apple and a wizard, eh? What a fucking team. This has got a shit record. Maybe I don't go with the apple, maybe I just go two. You know, two, two, maybe don't go with the wizard, go two apples and a babe. Or a claw, <laughs> induce a claw, beastman, loopak style. Yeah, do got all five. I haven't used a single concede yet. So could just concede, but I really don't want to concede. I have to go nine four zero. Don't wanna concede with that, you know. I like never losing with this team. Could have really done with piling on this game, eh? <laughs> just gotta win the toss and hope. Telling me there's a chance. Oh yeah, the disco connection. Yeah, thank you very much, Emperor Augustus. Yeah, that's true. Nah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna never concede. Sorry. <laughs> Just stick with the breads. Yeah, he's got panning on though, so I can't take his out. Oh, panning on so much better. Why didn't I take panning on? An idiot. I mean, to be fair, all the mighty blow isn't as bad as the six mighty blow that the ogres had. It's about the same, though. <laughs> Tackle's useless, whereas mighty blow would have been very useful. Yeah, he does have planning on and claw. <laughs> but still, the mass mighty blow is also scary, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, and get all the way back. Block guy can carry, I guess, and maybe level up.
Well, at least I set up against the Blitz with, the, with this guy not being on the LOS. No, I'd never take extra arm stomper BB because I'm, I'm not crap at Blood Bowl. <laughs> And he'd be blocked mighty blowing though, won't he? Which is 75% anyway. Don't forget there's a steel freak, so that uh So that so that Kanar can catch things. No, he can't do that. <laughs> From the first few seconds, he seems a bit shit, doesn't he? Like, he's just moved him in the wrong place to blitz. So he's got to make a GFI straight away. I mean, he seems pretty shit, to be honest. So, he's exposed his palmer to a blitz. Well played. He seems pretty crap, so definitely can't concede. I don't always roll three plus, but I'm not going to commit a skill to make a three plus or two plus when I could have it could be sure hands, you know. Yeah, the, the film that I can't believe he activated the minor, then did the GFI, because then that would have fucking made him reroll, wouldn't it? All right. So safe moves first. Don't even care. Well, okay. Let's care a tiny little bit about safe moves first. That's it. That is the nod to safe moves first. Please get a knockdown so I can claw a blitz. Of course, I could never get a fucking knockdown, could I? Absolute fucking joke. <sighs> no, I can blitz the other one, maybe. Bit of a safe move again. Loving the safe moves first. I can L screen there, can't I? Still get a blitzer claw guy. Yep, that's where the auto that's where cyanide takes me. Blitz him to break through, can't he? I should have put, shouldn't have L screened. I was thinking I could L screen, but then I'd get blitz and my claw would get blitz, and obviously I can't let my claw get blitz, so I fucked up there. Right, focus, don't talk to Chan. Right. That would have been good if I, if he was there, wouldn't it? That would have been the right play. I could have GFI'd. 
but now he's just going to blitz in, break through with everybody, and, and then just get the ball and score, and I'll lose, even though he's shit at blood ball. Well, he's bad, isn't he? You know, he's got guard. He could have made that blitz from this direction and then moved through, but he seems pretty bad at Blood Bowl, to be honest. Yeah, he blocked himself here, yeah, Skuro said. He seems pretty bad at Blood Bowl. TBH fans. So, like, that's good. And now I can put Warriors where the, where the killer is to make it a bit harder for him. That's true, Red Joker, yeah. He had to, though, Freak, didn't he? He had to, otherwise he's getting hit by Claw Mighty Blow. So, <laughs> he absolutely had to pile on there. But, I mean, he committed himself to having to pile on, but still. He absolutely had to pile on there. There was no choice. At least he did them one at a time, I guess. But he's one of these... He's Oh, God, he's not doing them one at a time. Do the one at a time and carry on doing the other two anyway. Fucking brilliant. One of these guys who thinks Bull sent Oz Movement 9 were good. Fuck you. Hope you don't re-roll it and he dies. It's it's horrible, isn't it? This is going to be horrible. Losing to this guy is going to be horrible. Simple as. <laughs> Could blitz him with Claw Mighty Blow. But then it's harder to uh, control this guy. He could blitz him. And then I have to sacrifice a guy to him. He could go up there and get a bit of cover. Like he's too dangerous there, isn't he? Put him there. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can still blitz him as it is. I just blitz him. But I really would like to control. Control him. Three warriors there. I wouldn't say he shuts him down, but it means he's got to commit heavily with the guard to get hits in. I really don't want him to get hit in with claw palm.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's pretty safe here. Got to reroll it this time. Yeah, he did. Yeah, it was his choice. Yeah, true freak. No, Jam Toss. No, I don't like bribes because bribes work well if your opponent's shit. Uh, sorry, if, if bribes work well if you do well. But if you don't do well, they're not. They don't. He could go for the hit here, couldn't he? Could Chin press the Hot Goblin into a Warrior for an extra block? And blitz him from this angle. The warrior stood up. Oh yeah, push, yeah, push him that way, yeah. But then if, and if it's a push, then just push him to there. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, that was probably a good idea, yeah. If I had the movement. I probably, what I should have done is probably move him one square further back and then him to here. So... It's not freaking hard with all these skills, isn't it? Gonna have to go. Gonna have to change it to gain skills. Yeah, it's a good good shout, Lippy Student. Yeah, bri bri just fouling is shit against dwarves. That's the problem, isn't it? You can still just blitz that beast man with claw might as well. He just hits with mighty blow, doesn't he? Yeah, he gets Kaz. I knew I'd get Kaz marking him. Fuck's sake, man. I knew I'd just fucking get Kaz marking him. I could've just blitzed him with Claw Mighty Blow. But because I, th I think I don't want to get hit by Claw Pom, it just fucks me more. Oh, fuck's sake, man. You can't win, can you, when you play Blood Bowl? You just can't win. I knew that. I knew he'd get a Kaz guarantee. Knew it. Knew I was giving up the Kaz to do that. Just to not get pommed, and then he did the he did the chain out, which he shouldn't have been able to do because I should have changed the hob, changed the hob. So there you go. Right, I'm gonna fucking do the right move this turn. Now that it's too late. So dumb. Hello, just Joe. Oh. Jim Kazastun, yeah, maybe. I knew I'd be giving up a Kaz to, to hold him up for a turn. I knew it. Fuck off. Knew it. Cocksucker. Jesus fucking Christ. Just to not get hit by Corpon.
The good thing is that at least his claw mighty blow is slow. Claw pom is slow, so I'm just kind of try to run away. I guess that's what I should have done last turn, just run away from him when he was when he was uh, when he piled on. I just wanted to lock him down, but then he had the chain out because I hadn't chained out. So ultimately, it was bad player punished, wasn't it? I'm going to do the anti war dancer cage next turn. <laughs> Just because it's also the anti. Uh, the an it's a way to protect your claw guy on the ball at the same time. <laughs> the blitz on a hobgoblin or what could put the guard in there and then uh, two dice the mino with mighty blow but then the, the guard needs mighty blow so could hit him but don't want to bolt down it Protect the block guy. Hey, you got a Kaz. To be fair, that means it's much harder from the foul now. Done alone. No cage dive from the break tackle now. Could have run around there, couldn't even broke tackle in. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> yeah, 1620 cage offs, yeah. That is exactly why. <laughs> And even then, like, if they roll the doubles, they're going to get more anyway, aren't they? Because the Chaos have to pay for block. Greed re-rolling every block, why not? Yeah, so now, now that pylon's great, because he's not going to blitz next turn. I really don't want to apo it, but I have to. I need to keep the numbers up. Greed is right. Works. Second apple gets safe for a perm now. But now I can really go the other side and hopefully hopefully fucking survive. This is getting ridiculous now, isn't it? Really? The death spiral is has begun in earnest. The one game I don't start with eleven men. Don't don't start twelve. Yeah, he'd have been the second cars. I think I had to want to win. I just think I had to. If I want to win, which I do. <laughs> so So it's definitely operation gets far away from uh, the claw pommer as possible. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. So you can go there. Only three, four, five, six. Killed him. Brilliant. Can always bolt to get the score. Nah, Thomas Griff, what's the point of saving the team if you lose? Yeah, it is a bit crap in it, Colonel West, yeah. R2. Ah, yes, R2 apples, yeah, true. Yeah, oh yeah, no, I wouldn't use... If I only had one apple, I wouldn't have used it, no. No, I wouldn't. Jim Cass. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh man, the smash the smash rip player is horrible. I hate that he looks like a lineman instead of a blitzer. That's true warning grenade, yeah. <laughs> Maybe Mr. Yemen Dem, it's pretty good, isn't it? It's just how would you have like how would you uh, have a stun? <laughs> Yesterday's mummies. Yesterday's mummies were amazing, holy shit. Yeah, I mean, if he was a competent... But then this is going to feel worse when he wins, isn't it? That's the thing. If he was competent, I would have probably conceded. You know, if this was Christopher's team, he'd probably just concede. Save, save, save the time and the, and the team and wouldn't change anything, really, would it? Like, you know, I'm not, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't win against Christopher, but I can win this guy. And it's the hope that stops us conceding. That's the problem. Something like that can't log out. No, with, well, now it's because of the laptop. Um, you know, the, the camera's shit. Could fireball three guys. Wish I had frenzy instead of tackle. Right now. Could blitz him and reverse a little bit. Dodge with a ball carrier. Put the guard in there, another guy blocking. Fuck it. You only live twice, don't you? Oh, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Ball could go there. GFI well, I guess do the dodge first Good lad Oh, I put him in the way, shit now is it it's rough like obviously it's rough but what can I do ah oh, thank you very much good death star yeah he is close to the sea farm yeah <laughs> yeah it will be 941 soon yeah yeah, reversing bring, brought the claw pump into play, but he hasn't got the assists, has he, unless he blitzes the loner, so... I didn't hate it. Like, he, he can't blitz that guy, can he? Really. I guess you could one dice blitz him. Well, you're very welcome. Um, I will try to do more uh, more guides. To be honest, I'm trying to get them done, but it's uh, it's not easy to find the time. It probably is choppy Destronov here. Yeah. Probably. No, it's not. Oh God, the shake on the bull centaurs! Holy shit! Yeah, he is going to knock down the front guys, isn't he? That's the weakness. But could bolt one guy blitz, bolt one guy blitz the other and might be able to do something. He's filled his wild animal more than more than all of those boneheads already. I think. I guess it could just go for another dodge because a dodge makes it pretty safe. Blitz with him. I just bolt him. And then blitz him. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he's. But yeah, if he gets bolted though. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. Do I bolt to score on my own drive? He doesn't have break tackle, so he can get put in the put men in the way of him actually. So yeah, no bolt. Two, three, four, five, six, GFI. Right, he just runs away. <laughs> oh shit.
Two GFIs means he can't blitz us. Two GFIs means he can. But a GFI makes it harder for him. Alright. Got the rerolls, let's go. Alright, so safe from him now. GF fighter here is pretty good actually, isn't it? You can block him free. One, two, three, four, five, six, double GFI, something like that. So I was going to block him down, but now I feel like moving him out around here might be a good idea. So I should have left him till the end. And then he could have dodged out and based him or something. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it, Mr. Yonder? I thought he would have died for sure after standing up for no reason. I couldn't eat stood up. Uh, yeah, I could have hit him. Yeah, I could have hit that guard guy. But what does it achieve? Like, unless I kill him. I think getting him in the way of them is better. He just wants to make a claw pom blitz. It's only the shithead tackler. He can die if he dies or not for him. Oh, the KO's reasonable. The cunt pommer's all the back here. He got taken out because he piled on one time and then went there, went side to side and he was left not doing much. Well, that makes the ball safe anyway, doesn't it? All he can do is base it and then can blitz him with claw mighty blow, so... Yeah, he he, he is terrible, Petro Jack, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the block mano has done basically fuck all, yeah. So he's gonna base the ball. Base, base, base. No, he doesn't get the chance. Too far away, hit the claw, mighty blow, isn't it? But hitting this guy is a is a good thing to do. Nothing. There's no other block to be made, is there? Yeah, that's true, suit on him. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the, the block mino, to be fair, is the least scary part about his team, anyway, isn't it? It's the claw palm and the claw mighty blow. I've got the garbage time. The garbage time save formation is pretty good.
Rough though, isn't it? What's this? Six, nine players? Ten at the most. He's got eleven. Yep, exactly try, yep. Yeah. Percentage of the core, zero. Yeah, <laughs> zero pseudonym. <laughs> Absolute zero, thanks to the uh, <laughs> squig sandwich kiosk. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, anyone's got a chance, obviously, of beating anybody on mass removals, but, um, yeah, claw might you blow piling on, certainly. Certainly is the big equaliser for bash teams, isn't it? Not even equaliser, just huge random factor. Equaliser for coach skill, that's right. All this claw and mighty blow and piling on and mighty blow and, oh, could easily be down to eight for the second half or seven. Wouldn't be surprised. I mean, he seems pretty crap. So hopefully. If I have some players can put some amount of pressure on and maybe, just maybe, be able to call the A team. Two dicing with him, that's terrible. Gets the power anyway. Fuck you. And I don't like the pile on there because. I was not. I was never gonna apple the. Uh, I was never gonna apple the KO. But then I wouldn't apple the. Wouldn't apple the cars. So fair enough. Need players though, don't I? I mean, if I can get 10, if this KO comes back and start with 10, 10 versus 11, that's half a chance, isn't there? Doesn't look like it. No, oh, he is, he's back. Alright, 10 v 11. You telling me there's a chance? going to go normal rule of five. This isn't going to work with uh, so few players, is it? This guy isn't tackled, so he's more valuable, isn't he? Bit of a shitty trend, but still ten players. Got half a chance. Half a chance. Wizard. And one nil up. Yeah. Yeah, three guys could get taken out and the blitz. I mean, still down a lot of TV on the pitch, isn't it? And don't really have anything to benefit from the wizard. It's not like Woody's with a wizard, is it? If Woody's were down to 10 men with a wizard, they'd be feeling quite confident. Oh, 
four rerolls though. Oh, he's protecting the ball. Holy shit. It's, at least it's going to be hard to lose. That's the thing, isn't it? Like, might get the draw, obviously. But it's going to be hard to lose. Well, I'll say that. Depends Depends what his cards are like, dice are like. Yeah, the Wiz should be able to buy some time, yeah. These fuckers can take the game. Yeah, and still got an apple to. Like, I can just play to defend the team now, can't I? Use the apple on perms. Because a, a, a miss next game is the same as a KO at this point, basically. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, got a got a wizard while have players, obviously, but um, oh man, that's that's a tempting wizard, actually, isn't it? If these two go down, the ball's open. If these four go down, it's open. If he goes down. Still not good enough. <laughs> Might just blitz that claw guy. And, uh... V10. Maybe I shouldn't have dodged him out. Maybe I shouldn't have dodged him out, but... I felt like going here was protecting him from getting claw pommed, wasn't it? I should have dodged him out first and not dodged the other one. To be honest, that was my mistake. So punished with death seems fair. <laughs> yeah, great Zigini. That's standard. <laughs> that's, that's absolute standard. <laughs> standard games. Yeah, at least it was the loner. To be fair, both cars are the loners at the moment, so... Um, it's okay, isn't it? And it is 9 versus 10, which isn't that bad.
I'd think about it, Red Joker. It depends how I could get the ball afterwards, you know. If this guy hadn't been there, last, like if it was like this, but without this guy here, then I'd think maybe, because if this guy went down, there'd be a way in. And if both these guys went down, there'd be a way in. And if he went down, it'd be good. So it just depends. It depends how many you've got to hit for, to have things happen, really. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true, Pedro. <laughs> I mean, that, that was a bad one because he could have just left him lying down. He just, his body would have still been in the way. So. I just wanted to save him from the claw, my, the claw palm blitz, and he hasn't done it, so. Should have just left them down. Plus, it makes the fireball more risky for him, having guys down that he can't, he can't deal with. Well, he can foul them, I guess, but. Wow, he's just gone for the foul. Assist with a ball carrier for no reason. Batman. <laughs> Thanks, Sudan. Just uh, just loners, lemon is good. Uh, a loner died, so it's no problem. Thanks, God. Wow, just making this foul way more risky for no reason. Unbelievable. He deserves to get double one cent off this. 100% deserves a double one send off. Holy shit. Just, there's just no need, is there? It's not worth risking the two dice on the ball just to get a plus one assist. That is terrible. That is absolutely fucking terrible. Of course he gets the stun though. He's got to leave his guy on the ground. Oh, he ran out of time. Oh, well, that, he'll be okay with that, actually. Right, got to hit him. Safe moves first here, just quietly. Could I have used the wizard there? Maybe. Just want to knock this guy down though. No effect as you do. The, the fireball just needed too much, didn't it? It needed too many people to go down. I keep thinking he's blitz because that fucking bug. The display bug, isn't it? On that, on that fucking... Absolutely, absolutely did. I mean, that was the thing, wasn't it? That was the double payoff. Maybe killing this guy and then sticking him on a warrior is pretty good. Isolating his claw palm on a warrior. Or if he's got to commit people to him, then at least that's something, isn't it? This is a not good blitz to give up though. 
I guess I could have had the rookie, the rookie beastman there. Die. Fucking die. Yeah, One, two, three, four. Could just 2D the ball anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just two plus to 2D the ball. Isn't even bad. <laughs> um, you could blitz him for three, four, five, six. And then screen. Two plus to hit the ball is not bad though, is it? I don't hate it. All right, so safe moves first. You can assist the block on him afterwards, which is pretty good. He can stand up. He can counter the assist. Oh wow, huge. <laughs> Not so huge. Jim Sack. <laughs> Come on, rookie piece man. You can do it. It's 9v9, isn't it? Holy shit. 9v9 with a whiz in hand. Isn't bad. Paying a heavy price, though. I did pay a price for that, getting that 2D on the ball. Which is a warrior getting caught, caught mighty blowed. But then got the guard up next turn. Potentially got the wizard. Still. This guy getting mighty blowed, that guy getting mighty blowed. Four players knocked over. For, for two dice in the ball. Down, down men again. Yeah, it probably wasn't worth it, to be fair. Probably should have just made a claw mighty blow, position and blitz. But, it's pretty good getting the ball off the block guy anyway. 
He can get bits next turn, or him, actually. Because he's kind of, it would have been better for him to assist this way so that his, his claw couldn't get hit, whereas now I can hit his claw with my claw, can't I? Watched and I've got 100 bits, then thought Jimmy could use some love. No, oh, thanks. Great, Jimmy, love your videos and streams. Ah, oh, thanks. Thanks, Thomas Griff. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, the, the fireball could be good here, couldn't it? But he's not in a position to score, so I still think waiting is better. Stun could be big for next turn. Can knock him down, blitz him, hand it off, whatever. We go there so we can block him and then get him in. Maybe just put him on there. Because this guy can blitz next turn, can't he? Potentially GFI in. If he takes two guys out to deal with him. But then at the moment, what could you do? We could blitz him and then make a big way forward. So, yeah, I guess need to uh, need to shore that up. Fireball, fireball. <laughs> Still too early is this. <laughs> well, I mean, it would have just been an attrition wizard, really. There was no way to hit the ball from there, was there? That was the thing. I don't think. And, you know, winning 1-0... This is exactly what I thought he was going to do here. Now it's getting tricky for him, isn't it? Whiz this turn looks way better. Or just the minor going stupid. Oh, you lucky fucking cunt. Ooh. Oh, brilliant. Knocked himself out. <laughs> oh, man. Right, so he can block him. And then he can block him. And he can blitz him. And then he's looking in a fucking pickle, isn't he? But there's no need to use the wizard. Yet. Done. Huge. Hmm. I could just stand him up, couldn't I? Right now. And then if this is a push, he's already stood up. If it's a pal, I guess moving him to there would be better. But no, it's okay. It's just standing him up. Bit of a safe move.
huge stun again. This is pretty good. Both bulls stunned. The reverse is on, the potato isn't on. So maybe go back here. Obviously he can't stand up. And better just to stay where he is, isn't it? As a threat. It would have been like it would have been better obviously move him at last because then he could have stood up and based the ball as it turned out. But it was safer not to, wasn't it? It's crazy, isn't it, Wilkie? Absolutely fucking crazy. Was it not both bulls stunned? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's just a dwarf. <laughs> One dice, pal. Fuck off. Right. Not bad. Yeah, I'd rather just keep it in reserve in case, you know, something happens. Yeah, potato against a wizard so shit, that's the thing, isn't it? <laughs> I forgot about the boat, I forgot about the break tackle. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Now the now I can bolt! <laughs> now I can bolt. Thank you, Nerit PL. <laughs> <laughs> now the bolt. Finally. Fucking die. Alright. Definitely want to punch him. Yeah. 
Well, I can't bits with him anymore. I wanted to clear the minor so that I could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI blitz him. But. No, I guess that's not happening. So what's he got to do? One, two, three, GFI, GFI, all he can do is base. Hup, dup, base, base, base. If I foul him, you can get up and one dice blitz this guy. So I guess it's better to not foul him. Yes, Johnny Controller, I did have higher resolution in previous streams. Um, but the problem is being on the laptop currently. Maybe I should have fouled him. But how bad would I feel if I fouled him, got sent off, then he one dice the guard mighty blow guy and cast him? I'd feel really fucking bad. That was a claw mighty blow, wasn't it? Mm. He's going to foul him, I guess. Also, that's a good reason to not foul. Because then he won't foul, maybe. He is going to foul, though. He's going to hit with a minor, isn't he? In the frenzy trap. No, he's not. I thought he, I thought he was going to hit with a minor in the frenzy trap. And then assist with the uh, dwarf, dwarf to get, you know, plus one on the foul. But it looks like he's not. He's going to base the ball. <laughs> How cute. <laughs> Losing 1-0 make two GFIs to base the ball. Hup, hup, base, base, base. <laughs> Dying on the dodge would be amazing. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. Yeah, to be fair though, fouling on the late turns does does make your opponent foul sometimes. Jesus fucking Christ. Not gonna do anything else obviously with no rerolls. Pretty good with with one reroll, but you know. Yeah, yeah but he's already losing one nil, so it doesn't achieve anything, does it? It just means he gets a hobgoblin punched. To like, <laughs> best case, he loses 1 0 instead of 2 0. It's just. The base there was just horrible, wasn't it? I mean, that base there was just worthless, completely worthless. Gave my Beastman a shot at star player points before he scored. Right, 60k, good. And, uh, no thanks. MVP, Stomper BB, gets the gets the replacement skill that we lost straight away. That's pretty good. 18 AV breaks, he was unlucky on the Kaz rolls, wasn't he? From 18 AV breaks, he only made two, two injuries. So, but I thought, controlled the claw pump quite well. So there was that. Yes, 10 4 0. Oh, that's alright, isn't it? That's alright. Um, thank you, guys. And yeah, the team's recovered now, pretty much. Can get a re reserve again, be out of 12, 12 players. 
and give Stomp a BB just blow instead of that mighty blow. The mighty blow was a bit shit on the warrior, to be honest. It didn't it didn't accelerate him to claw mighty blow. So we can have a reliable block man's instead. And then see what Vulpe's Fago gets. Maybe he could get mighty blow. And maybe just guard. Getting a lot of TV now, isn't it? 1430 is a lot of TV. He's getting into the scary place now where it's pretty likely to play those kind of chaff teams. But a very successful day of Blood Bowl. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.